when we talk about resistance to change, what we're really talking about is equilibrium. The system is well designed to accomplish something. And even though it might appear dysfunctional, so we don't want we don't want a system that's accomplishing X, but in fact, the system is perfectly designed to accomplish X. I'm Ron Jor, and this is Remake, a podcast about design, systems, and society. In each episode, I talk to someone who's trying to change our lives for the better in some meaningful way, whether through a new product, new venture, or a new way of looking at the world. And I try to understand how they came to it, what makes them tick, and what we can learn from them. David Peter Straw is the best-selling author of Systems Thinking for Social Change, a practical guide for solving complex problems, avoiding unintended consequences, and achieving lasting results. For the past 40 years, David has helped leaders to apply systems thinking to organizational strategy and achieve breakthrough sustainable change. He's a founding partner of the influential consulting firm Bridgeway Partners, a faculty member of the Academy for Systems Change, and a charter member of the Society for Organizational Learning. In this conversation, we talk about how he was exposed as a child to both natural and urban complexity growing up at Inwood, at the very northern tip of Manhattan, New York. How he fell in love with transportation systems, but ended up studying organizational development at MIT. How his search for greater impact and a seat at the table led him down the system thinking path, and eventually to founding a consulting firm alongside Charlie Kiefer, Robert Fritz, and Peter Singe, later of the fifth discipline fame. We also discuss what's a system and what's systems thinking? Why do complex systems often yield unintended consequences? What are the benefits of system thinking, especially in the world of impact? What does it tell us about wealth inequality and poverty? And why David has come to see system thinking as an almost spiritual practice. David's book and his blog are must-reads for anyone interested in making deep and lasting positive impact and avoid undesirable consequences. And this conversation can serve as a good and I think exciting intro to the topic. So let's jump right in with David Peter Straw. So I'm sitting here with David Peter Straw. David, welcome to the podcast. Great. Thank you very much, Aaron. 